Hello everyone, I think for this video we'll be doing some maintenance on my hack RF. I have been using this for a very long time as you can see it is missing a button, some button caps, RCA jacks, and yeah the case is just really really rough and this is what we're gonna do in this video. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at it closely. As you can see here, it is missing a hub cup. Same here. It is missing an actual button here. <laughs> and um, yeah, the RC, the SME jack is also missing. So what happens is when you're screwing the antenna, it is also displacing the RC, SME jack here. So that's what happens there. Um, yeah, and the case is really, really rough. And that's something that we'll be replacing. Here I have reprinted a case. And some of the buttons, this will be here. And these are some of the SME protector or cap. And this will be the buttons that we will be putting here. Like this, okay. And here I have the an um, eight millimeter tactile button. That is the one that we will be putting as a replacement here. And we have the female SMA check to for the replacement. Okay, so the screws are all when you are removing it, as you can see. The headphone jack is um, blocking the way for you to remove it. What you'll need to do is you'll have to put it here and push it forward like this in order to remove it. Yeah. Okay. So this is the actual porta pack, and it is being connected to the actual hack RF. So the next thing that we're gonna remove is the backside cover. Okay, so we'll be using the same screw when we replace it. So this one is a lot more easier. You will just need to remove this. Okay, so you pull it up, then you slide it like this. Okay, so now you have this a naked hack RF with porta pack one, hack RF one with porta pack H2, and you don't need to remove the spacers. You'll just need to separate these two, and that's what we're gonna be doing. So you'll need some force in order to do it. And don't worry. Uh -huh. So as you can see, it is separating now. Okay, so this is how the, the separated hack RF1 and Porta Pack 2 looks like. So we will be soldering the, RS, the SMA jack here. We'll be removing the solder there and replacing it with a new one. And here, yeah, we'll just be removing this button here and we'll be replacing it with a new one too. So I'll be coming back after I did that. Okay, so I have finished soldering the button here. As you can see, it didn't do a great job. It's a little crooked, but I think it will work. It's a lot more harder than I thought. Now this one, the SME. I think this one I did good. You can see, you even if you compare on the existing one, still looks really really good. This one. So let's try it out. Now, what we're gonna do is, as you can see, there are these I/O pins here, and there are the pins here. All you have to do is line those two up. Now, if I can figure it out, it should be, okay, this, 
like this. Press it down. Okay, moment of truth. It should power on. Okay, okay, so it is powering on. Oh, yeah, and the button, down button, still works. It's all good. Now, let's power it off and try to put the case now. Okay, now it's time for the assembly. As you can see, I have put it, or I have put the back cover now. It's a little tricky because you have to angle it such a way that um, the antenna or the SME antenna would be here. Always check if the button will work, which is good. Um, because I have put a different SMA here, I have to grind it out like this so that it will be flat. But after that, let's put the screws. We will be putting in the spacers. So the spacers, let's just screw it in. There you go. Now the next one is we put the port of port the pack first. It's a lot more easier if we put the case, the front case first before we put it here. So let's try that out. You have to angle it because of the um, headphone jack and this one, and you have to angle it and push it a little. Okay, so let's. I think it's okay. Yep. Yeah. Let's just push, push, push it in more. Okay. So let's just put this back. Okay. Okay. So let's put it here. Again, this, this, all of the pins there. It should match. You shouldn't have any trouble. Putting it in like that. Then before you screw it, make sure to test. Okay, so everything is working. Even the buttons that we have installed, it's all good. Let's turn it off and let's screw it. Okay, now we have to put the buttons. Let's put the knob. These are the protectors for the SME. Those look good. Buttons here. And let's put the antenna. Okay. Oh, that looks good. My hack RF in a Hakista colored team. Oh, very nice. Okay, as you can see now, this is the final product. It's really, really nice. It has the Kista color teal and red. And I've changed all of the buttons, added the SME connector. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the struggles that I have in putting this together. Next time, I will be doing the Flipper Zero. So. Always remember, keep on hacking my fellow hockeysta.